Hi, it's been a little while since I've done one of these behind the scenes videos, so I thought I'd shoot another one for you. I had a few orders accumulating, so I thought I'd come on and show you what I'm doing behind the scenes to get my Etsy orders out. So when somebody orders a challenge for the first time, I tend to write the same sort of things on my notes. So I've just sped this up. I try and address you by name to make it more personalised. And if you've ordered one challenge, then I quote that in the note and I like to sign it off my money matters just for a bit of branding and so people remember who I am. If you're a returning customer you usually get a slightly different note um, usually abbreviated with MMM and always with the pig and usually with the heart on the front as well. So with returning customers you get a sticker with your order and if it's uh, £10 or over, you'll get a challenge. This particular customer, this is her sixth order. Now, if it's your fifth order, you should get a piggy poem, but I think I've forgotten to do this on her last order. Thankfully, she came back, so then I can give her her piggy poem. Then if you order 10 times, you get something, and I think it's 15 or 20, I can't remember. But the more you order, um, the more little freebies you get from me. So I'm choosing a sticker. Usually I don't always look through them. I just grab the nearest one. But uh, for this particular customer, I thought, oh, this one's quite cute. So I shall get that one. Since my last video, I think I've labelled all my things. So you can see that says picky stickers and other things. So this is how I store all my challenges in binders. And then they get referenced or cross-referenced on, on an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm, I'm getting all the challenges ready making sure that my stock is up to date and I'm marking this off. Now that roll with it challenge is very popular and this is the mini version so to fit in smaller A7 size. So this 100 penny challenge is actually the last one in there so I've got to remind myself to print some more off which we'll do at the end of the video and the cute Nelly notes which I do in the inside the envelopes or outside. This particular customer wanted the wallet matching insert and the challenge to go inside. Then I just pop those with the cards that I've written ready to go out. So in a mo, you'll see me packaging, but I'm going to leave you with a bit of ASMR so you can hear all the package rustling and the bits and bobs. And I'm going to let you watch that and I'll catch you up on the other side. So once I've sorted all the challenges, this is a mystery one going out, which is quite exciting. And you'll see what happens for each of the packages.
So that's all the orders done. Obviously, I sped up the process a little bit for you. And then um, don't judge the carpet that needs hoovering. <laughs> I'm just loading my printer with some card to remind myself to print off the 100 penny challenge to go back into stock. And then this will get chopped and laminated, ready to be restocked. Happened to be a rainy evening when I went to post these. But here I am trotting off to one of the post boxes and in goes the orders. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the small insight behind the scenes of My Money Matters. Enjoy your day. Bye.